Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. As you can see we're fighting Blazetta, the, the boss for the Snow Peak Ruins and that's basically the Yeti's wife, believe it or not. She's in this weird snow thing, you want to hit it with the ice ball at first. This is basically the first phase of the battle, but yeah, you should constantly hit it. Um, it's kind of, it can easily avoid your ball while it's sliding, but yeah, she's basically possessed by the evil of the mirror, you could say, and that was actually a really freaky part of how her head flips, and she sees you and she looks like that, um, and I guess the broken English doesn't help either, the way it talks, so, yeah, not take mirror, really fierce, but yeah, it's possessed by basically the dark, you know, magic in the mirror, and she really likes the mirror, and I guess she can control ice now, you know, she's making these weird ice things. So, at first, let's go ahead and put in our ball and chain, and she's gonna drop these weird ice things on us. You wanna destroy at least one of them while you have the chance, but if you get hit like that, you won't be able to. Luckily, I was right there, and, they, and you wanna look at the reflection and see... Okay, that didn't work out for me. Um, I was supposed to find the one where where it had an opening because it's a perfect circle and you want to make sure you destroy one to actually head out of there so you don't get crushed and you're able to hit her with the ball and chain. I guess I screwed that up but um, yeah and also I'm screwing it up again because that happened. <laughs> I think this is actually still open. Oh okay it is. This is still broken. It's good to hit her once with it and you just want to constantly do that. It's like a mirror or a ice carriage and you use the floor as a mirror this is exactly what you're doing and you're just gonna rinse and repeat this exact same cycle um, but I guess once you hit her she automatically respawns all the these ice shards things that fall so you just wanna keep running to avoid it but at the same time you, you wanna you wanna make sure you're able to hit one of them wow I made a perfect circle with okay I destroyed two this should make the exit really easy Let's make sure we're not pinned in a wall. There we go. And let's hit her. If we're able to. There we go. And that's how you do it. So not too hard. She'll automatically do the same thing. I think it's actually three hits. So one more to go. And hopefully we're actually able to break one more ice while we do this. Because this is kind of an annoying process. Now I'm making it become a circle again. So I can hit these. Okay, I was able to break one I think. Let's see if I can break another one. Nope. Let's find the exit. I don't see an exit. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm able to hit her. I wasn't. I was able to break another ice thing, though. So that's good. Let's not stay on the, the edge. <laughs> I think that's the only problem with this battle. It's... And thing is not knowing how when they're gonna stop falling. You know, how many there are. But it was a lot less than before. So there we go. Now we find a pretty big exit. Let's go ahead and get ready to hit her one last time. And that does that. So you don't necessarily hit her. You're just hitting her ice carriage thing and her other ice stuff that I don't really know what to call it. And that does that for the battle. Uh, little crazy, I don't know how the room became all icy, but it fixes up and things. And now you get the mirror that I guess was shattered into more pieces. But you get the, one of the pieces of the shattered mirror of twilight. 
and yeah, so now she's not possessed by it anymore because we destroyed it. I don't know really how that worked. I guess she was supposed to snap out of it. I don't really think she did, but yeah, so we didn't kill anybody. So I guess we don't get a, you know, heart container because usually the boss drops it out of his eye because like, you know, <laughs> as you saw, most bosses in this game drop it out of their eye, but you know, they usually drop it out of something and you get that heart container because this was a boss, this was a temple. And traditionally, we get a you know piece of heart. So uh, she opens up the gate to head straight out of here, but we still want our heart container. And this is kind of neat how it works. So before you head out, obviously the Yeti is gonna come in, and you know he sees his wife on the floor. So you know he's worried. Uh oh, what's wrong with you? And it's very strange. She was dreaming. Yeto gave her the mirror. So that's Yeto. I don't know, I said Yetta, but, okay, Yetto and Yetta, so I've been calling him Yeti, but I guess, um, his name is Yetto and her name is Yetta, but there are both Yetis, so, yeah, anyways, after that, she actually looks like a human, he doesn't, I don't really get this at all anymore, um, I think she's just a human, dressed in that suit, because, um, when you think about it, Ashai was also dressed in one of those suits, but yeah, so, they're in love and stuff, and believe it or not, the hearts, um, that replenish you obviously throughout the game. They're gonna drop a big one, which is a heart container. So, yeah, isn't that cute? Not really. It's not even slightly cute. It's kind of weird. They have a weird, you know, relationship. But go ahead and pick up the, obviously the heart container. You don't have to pick up the small ones because that gives you a new piece of heart and replenishes all your hearts. And I think that does that for this episode. So let's go ahead and head out and see what lies ahead.